Hello and welcome to New Zealand. My name is Katie Bowes and I'd just like to introduce you to my novel Blaming the Child. And for that, I thought I'd take you up into the New Zealand bush. Oh, here we go again. Back and forth and round again on a wind-up carousel. This is the last long drop for about half an hour. If you want to go, go now. Declan's voice sounded slightly harsh and Callie weighed up her options. The thought of it being the last toilet stop for a while didn't fill her with pleasure and so she went into the small dank space and used the primitive facilities. This is a long drop. Teenagers were surrounded by a perfect kind of peace, which enveloped them and swirled around as though the whole world was, just for that moment, vivaciously elated at some kind of profound supernatural victory. It infected each one of them with ecstatic happiness which was clean and uplifting. They were momentarily average teenagers, not suffering from the loss of father or brother, not wrestling with grief or hardship, not used and abused by families who should have known better, they were refreshingly ordinary, typical teens, whatever that was. I could walk here around, but I'm caught on a sinking boat. And I'm struggling just to keep myself afloat. designated dock track but Declan and Callie went straight off into the bush and they kept going they had to beat their way through quite drastic parts of it where the going was really rough further up into the mountains Declan and Callie got the harder it was to find water they had to rely on little streams that came down from the higher ground Declan constantly tells Callie not to rely on the punga trees, they're not her friend and he says that to her numerous times and the reason is because these trees look really um, solid but if you try and rely on them if you're falling they just fall to pieces. I wonder what they could say if they could talk, Callie mused to herself, stroking the smooth bark of the Kauri tree and pondering on the stories it might know. This tree probably saw the poor Maori tribes displaced by the English in the mid-1800s. It was maybe even high enough to see the arrival of the Tainui Waka, bringing the Waikato tribes from the Polynesian islands. Possibly, Declan said, his gaze intense as he leaned against a tree to her side. Callie could feel his eyes fixed on her face and it made her flush slightly with embarrassment. Please, Callie, he said softly, please will you rethink your plans. I hope you've enjoyed your trip to the New Zealand bush and I hope it makes you want to journey more with Callie and Declan in Blaming the Child.